you know, even when you're quite good at shaving, you can still get these little uh, red irritation marks, which is from the aftershave reacting with my skin, but you know, what can you do? Hey guys, my name is George, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, draw perfect beard lines so that you never mess up your beard again. What you're going to need is a trimmer, a razor, optionally a cutthroat razor as well, and some shaving foam or cream, as well as a little bit of patience. So let's get into the video. Okay, so if you're anything like me, in the morning when you wake up, your beard just looks like a big old bushy mess. So uh, it's probably not a bad idea to get a little beard comb and uh, fix it up, make it nice and neat. The things I'm going to talk about in this video are mostly for a beard that already has a little bit of length and you're not trying to make it shorter per se, you're just trying to neaten it out. I did try to let it grow a little bit for the video, but I'm not very good at not doing my grooming, so it's not too bad. Then you're going to grab your trimmer, I'm using the Brio Beardscape, and uh, we're going to start by drawing our neckline. This is where loads of people go wrong. You don't want to draw it too high because then it makes your beard look funny, but you also don't want to draw it too low because then it makes you have a neck beard. Realistically, your neck isn't straight, so drawing a straight line doesn't make a lot of sense, but if you actually try and draw a curved line, it's likely to go wrong because your jaw isn't perfectly curved either. The trick I use is to lift my nose at a 60 degree angle and then use a tactic which I like to call the hover hand, um, which basically is where you very lightly hover the trimmer over your beard and trim away the excess. So the reason I do this is because uh, I'm cutting it in a straight line and my, my point of vision, I can see a straight line, but obviously my neck isn't perfectly straight. So what it's actually doing is it's cutting at a curve. This makes it a lot more even on both sides and you'll see that I'm taking my time a bit, but I'm making sure that they're even on both sides. This will avoid one side being higher up than the other and it will still give me that natural curve. So now the beard line is pretty damn good and uh, you can always touch it up a bit later when you've done the rest but I just like to get rid of this excess stubble on my neck as well because it makes it easier for shaving later. Okay so now to do the sides, I grab my beard comb and a smaller trimmer but you can use the same one if you like and I basically just brush my beard towards my ears where I can then uh, cut off the excess to make sure that it looks nice and clean. No beard hairs are going to be flying off to the side and ruining that crisp line that we like having. And the same on the other side of course. So um, I'm going to quickly interrupt to say you guys should subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Maybe consider leaving a like, comment, follow my Instagram at GeorgeFLato. But regardless, let's get back to the video. Now we're going back to my favorite hover hand tactic and we're getting rid of um, the kind of roundness that comes with having a beard sometimes. This is obviously going to make your jaw look sharper, your face just look less round in general. You want to use your sideburn to kind of see how far out you want your beard to be and just follow that line very gently using your hover hand. We want our beard to grow downwards, not necessarily outwards. That isn't going to give you the best look and uh, elongating your face will definitely make it look slimmer and just more, more defined. can do this around your cheeks and your jaw also just to make every line look a bit more crisp. Okay now for the moustache you want to brush it downwards and to the side and uh, any excess hair you'll want to trim off. Again with the hover hand just to make sure the stragglers get cut off. Similar to the neck, I'm just getting rid of some of the stubble around my cheeks, makes it easier to shave later. So now that I'm finished cleaning up with my hover hand, I can see that I've missed a few little spots and I'm going in for the final touches on my neckline. Uh, 
I like to use clear shaving gel on my face so that when I use the cutthroat razor I can actually see where I'm drawing the line and make sure I don't mess up. So I'm going to start drawing my cheek line with a cutthroat razor but I'll show an alternative method in a little bit. If you do choose to use a cutthroat razor then make sure you stretch out the skin and uh, take it very easy because obviously it's sharp but I do prefer the cutthroat razor for actually drawing the main line as I find it just has a much crisper effect than using just the trimmer um, and also I have a bit more control over which hairs I'm getting rid of. You also want to come back to your cheek after you've done the other one so that you can make sure you can even them out as much as possible. Can't forget to sharpen up that mustache line as well, of course. So now it's time to finish cleaning things up by shaving the neck and cheeks. So get your shaving foam or cream and lather up. I use normal store bought Gillettes, but you can use whatever razor you prefer. And basically just shave your neck as normal, pretty simple, until you get to the neckline. Which I like using the precision blade at the back of my Gillette to do. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the Gillettes have this. Uh, if you flip your Gillette around, then you can have a slightly more precise blade, which is good for the precise details, the lines and the edges. I don't know if all razors have this though, so you might want to check that. And also don't forget to shave the area by your ear. Similar to the neck, I use the precision blade on my cheek line as well. Um, and also on my cheeks, I like shaving against the grain um, as it gives me a closer shave. Snip. Snip. And lastly, I like to finish up with a little bit of an aftershave just to avoid ingrown hairs and irritation. But that's pretty much it guys, you have a pretty amazing sharp looking beard now and uh, your neckline is flawless, well done. Anyways, I hope that was helpful, thanks for watching guys and peace.